boy. Once a man, twice a baby. Y'all better hear me when I tell you. Once a man, twice a baby. And you will reap. If you are blessed enough to live long enough, you will re You will go back to the same state pretty much that you started your life in. And I'm saying this because I'm I'm feeling real deeply for what's going on between John Amos, his son, and his daughter right now. And um, I know there's been a lot of people out here taking sides about what has happened to him. But first of all, let me say something. If you ain't never dealt with no elderly person, if you haven't had to deal with a parent on a 24-hour basis or a family member on a pretty consistent basis that, that has Alzheimer's or dementia, hey, you, you don't know what you're dealing with. So when I first start hearing all this stuff about um, him and his situation, from starting from the first video of his daughter, the first thing made me say was when she, when she came out and said somebody you know, was stealing his money and she started to go fund me. Well, which made me, you know, my ears peel back with that one. However, I knew there was some situations going on now where it feels like he's having memory problems. You know, John Amos is, he's not a spring chicken, okay? My mother is 88 years old and dealing with her at 88 years old is, it's, um, it's amazing. Some days I feel like I'm in hell. And some days I watch the aging process and I say, wow, you know, you know, I want a quality of life. And anybody knew my mother, she'd jump up and get in her car and drive, go anywhere, go out, of, uh, always out of the co uh, country, always out of the state. Uh, traveling with groups, I mean, with, that was just part of her life. And to watch her life deteriorate down to the point where um, a lot of things she don't remember, pretty much. The, in order to keep her stimulated, I have to sing. I have to do things that she did with me as a kid, which is basically singing and um, telling stories from a long time ago. Uh, her short-term memory is not good at all, and with that, when that happens, sometimes they make up stories. In the beginning of her dementia stage, I mean, she th there was it, all I can put like this was it was sheer hell, and between other family members calling the police and all kinds of craziness, when nothing was ever substantiated and validated. In fact. They were like, wow, she's lucky to have y'all. Okay? So, but I know between family members, a lot of times what death brings and what sickness brings out of your family members is something unbelievable. It's like a beast being unleashed. Don't let it be the death uh, because now everybody's fighting. Everybody loved them. Everybody's saying, don't put them in that type of casket. We want this, and we want the highest this, but they don't have a dime, okay? And I'm just saying all this to say is before people jump to the conclusion about uh, what's going on with John Amos as if he's in his perfectly mental uh, state, I just find that hard to believe at, what is he, you know, pushing 90 or something? I mean, that, that happens, but it's kind of rare, okay? And a lot of times they forget a lot of stuff they forget, a lot of stuff that they create and a, a whole you accountable or responsible for. And this is what y'all got to remember about the aging process. This is what happens. So now I see that the son has been arrested and the sister and him are having, I guess, uh, you know, pretty much disagreements, discrepancies, and it's become a problem.
to the point where the police have arrested the brother. Anyway, a lot of y'all don't understand. Let me see if I can take, start off where I uh, left off at. Because I just had an emergency, sort of, kind of. But here's what I wanted to say um, about John Amos and the aging process. Um, Bernadette Stannis, okay, Stanislaus, she um, probably had the most reasonable conversation around the aging process of John Amos as anybody I've heard. Everybody else is coming from a perspective like, you know, everybody, his daughter and his uh, son are just out, or especially his daughter, for a money grab. And like I said, this is very sensitive because whenever you're dealing with elderly people, your parents, elderly abuse, you're dealing with family members, a lot of them don't show up until they smell blood in the water. Meaning if they uh, feel like the person is about to be deceased soon, um, they they around seeing what they can get. Okay? And they making other people's lives hell especially when the people that spend the most time with the person know that they're deteriorating. And that is one of the hardest parts about dealing with people like this. Not not even the physical stuff with them smearing feces and the things of that nature or, you know, and denying everything. Those are minute issues. It's the people that you would think would support you because that's what you need. In times like this. Anyway, John Amos and Good Times co star Bernadette Stanislaus has spoken in support of the actor whom she loves from the core of my heart, saying that she wishes the feud between his children would be sorted out peacefully. So during a recent interview with People Magazine, uh, Stanis discussed the challenges that come with taking care of an elderly parent. I know. I, John knows I love him from the core of my heart, the actress said. His children were lovely and have always been lovely. It just happens so that when you have a parent that you have to take care of or they are aging, there's a lot of fear amongst the siblings because you don't know. And it's the first time and maybe the only parent. It hurts. Shannon uh, Amos, uh, John's daughter, made the accusations of elderly abuse on June 8th through an Instagram post in which she claimed that her father was in poor condition and that he had reported the, the a suspected crime to authority and that she had reported the suspected crime to authorities in Colorado. On June 15th, KC, Amos' son, shared a video on Instagram which John asserts that he experienced elderly abuse from Shannon following her complaint accusing him of being a target of numerous crimes. Now, I'm not trying to disparage anybody, but if drug use is involved with anybody, whether it's Shannon or Casey, um, you better just wait each thing that is said with a grain of salt, okay? Because when people are using or have relapsed, whatever the case is, um... You really can't believe them. They'll lie to the end. I mean, they'll get to... Uh-uh. So anyway... Uh... Again, Casey shared a video on Instagram in which John asserts that he experienced elderly abuse from Shannon following her complaint accusing him of being a target of numerous crimes. According to Stannis, 69... It is possible that conversations between family members were misinterpreted and that the disagreements may have been exaggerated. So I think that sometimes things are said and things are misunderstood because you're going through so much or they're going through much. And it just really hurts you because it's really sad. So when you're dealing with this, everybody has to be extremely sensitive extremely watchful and very slow to accuse and make moves on other family members because supporting 
an elderly relative is one of the hardest things that you can do emotionally, let alone physically. But to watch your parent deteriorate, the person that cares for you, the person that you looked up and looked to as in being infallible, the person that used to rub your back and nurse you when you were sick, the person that was a mama to you when you just, when she was God to you, okay? Your mom is God and your parent, I mean, until you get to know him for yourself. So in my case, it was a mother. And John's case, you know, it's him, it's the dad. However, you, this is one of the hardest endeavors that any other family members can possibly um, experience. And they haven't been through it before because you only age and get old once. Okay? Again, once a man, twice a baby. So I want to know what y'all think. Y'all think that John Amos is really going through some type of elderly abuse? Or do you really think that he's becoming senile or have any kind of form of dementia? And this also was playing a part in the uh, problems with his children. I don't know. Tell me what you think. So, leave your comment below and I'll see you in the next